What if our utility bills became a thing of the past? What if we were getting all our energy from the sun itself? That would make us so powerful nothing could stop us. But what's stopping us from getting there? In today's video, we will be discovering how to achieve the impossible and find out what would happen if we became a Type 2 civilization. So what does it mean to become a Type 2 civilization? A Type 2 civilization is a hypothetical civilization that can extract and use the energy from its host star, typically its sun. This means that civilizations like these can harness mass levels of energy from the sun, mostly through the use of advanced technology such as Dyson spheres. And currently, there are no Type 2 civilizations that we know of. But who decides what type of civilization it is? Well, there is a universal scale called the Kardashev scale. This scale is a measure of a civilization's technological advancement based on the amount and type of energy the civilization is capable of using. It was first introduced back in 1964 as an initial model by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev. Why are we calling this scale hypothetical? It's because this scale talks about consuming energy at the cosmic level, something that is far from being achieved. Even its classification of civilization into different types involves an exponential growth in technology that is surely in the works but is a hypothetical model in current times. Now before we move on with our discovery of what it means to become a Type 2 civilization, make sure to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. If you're wondering what category of civilization we are right now, you are about to have your answer. According to the Kardashev scale, we are a Type 0 civilization. Disappointed? Well, it's a given, because this means we are very low in our technological progress towards energy. As a Type 0 civilization, we are a sub-global culture, meaning that we still rely on organic sources like wood, coal, and oil to meet the majority of our energy needs. So the next time someone tells you the marvels of human advancement, you might not want to be so proud because we are still on level 0. But before becoming a Type 2 civilization, we would have to reach Type 1. A Type 1 civilization can master the use of all forms of energy on Earth, not just fossil fuels. So using sources like wind, solar, and hydro energy would be the way to go. It is after this stage that we can become a stellar civilization, capable of growing beyond human capacity as we know it today. So the big question now is, how do we become a Type 2 civilization? For a civilization struggling to sustain its energy, the journey to become a Type 2 civilization seems quite long. So there is no way to achieve that. It's going to take a lot of effort, starting with trying to become a Type 1 civilization first. That too is no simple task, but we are almost there. Using energy besides fossil fuels is the mainstream idea today, especially around the climate change crisis. It won't be long before our civilization maximizes the use of energy from Earth given the rate of our growth. And now is your time to install those solar panels on the roof of your house. No more running away from clean energy if you want to become something even greater. Now after that, the next step is building large quantities of energy-absorbing satellites that can be installed around the sun. But is it that simple? Of course not. There are several challenges before we can start building our large swarm of satellites. We need to resolve the problems we face on Earth first, such as climate change, global wars, and unrest. And even after that, we need to protect ourselves from threats to humanity such as pandemics and asteroids that could wipe off our existence before we even begin building our advanced technology. And with these challenges faced, advancement in technology is yet a big step to achieve. What we essentially need to build is a Dyson Sphere around the Sun, an idea that comes from the works of an astrophysicist, Friedman Dyson. This superstructure would be capable of harvesting every tiny bit of the Sun's energy for our use. Say goodbye to blackouts and fuel shortages in the future. So then what's stopping us? Why aren't we building one? Because it's not as simple as it seems. There is no material strong enough to handle the Sun's radiation. And even if there was, the risk of it being unstable is too great. Does that mean we lose all our hope of becoming a Type 2 civilization? Definitely not. Scientists are continuously working around these ideas, suggesting what can be constructed instead. According to them, something like a Dyson Swarm can work because it would have its independent orbit. But there are more hurdles on our path to becoming a stellar community. As we strive towards achieving Type 2 civilization status, it's crucial to address not just the technological hurdles, but also the societal and ethical implications of such a big shift. Transitioning to renewable energy sources like solar power is just the first step. We must also ensure equitable access to these resources for all communities worldwide. With this, gaining international cooperation is essential to ensure we can rise to the level of a Type 2 civilization together and mitigate the risks of conflicts arising from the race for cosmic dominance. 
Now, if we consider that we do become a Type 2 civilization, what's next? What does this mean for everyone on Earth? If we had the power of the sun at our fingertips, we would have the power to vaporize anything in our way. This means we might become one of the greatest powers in the universe. No threats to our existence would seem too big. If you ever dreamed about becoming Superman as a child, your dream will come true. Just like he gets his power from the yellow sun, so will we. With such a stellar power at our disposal, we would have the power to remove Earth from harm's way. Theoretically, we can do much more. It would allow us to control the orbit of everything in the solar system. And beyond that, the energy exponentially more than what we have now, most of our energy shortage problems will be resolved. It would allow us to take on more space discovery initiatives because we have unlimited energy to power them. What's even greater is that since we won't be needing fossil fuels anymore, our air will start to heal and become much cleaner. With technology like Dyson Swarm with us, we can even make other planets habitable. We would be able to control the level of the sun's radiation that reaches each planet and make it suitable for human life. Looking for your next vacation destination? Get ready for a trip to Mars or Saturn if you want to have a ski adventure. With space travel cheaper than ever because of this massive energy, there's no end to what we can achieve. And does our progress stop there? The answer is no, because once we become a Type 2 civilization, the next step would be become a Type 3 civilization, the last type on the Kardashev scale, which means we would be capable of using the energy of the entire galaxy. This might seem unreal today, but with the advancements we are capable of making, this might be achieved a few time periods later. But before you breathe that fresh and clean air, there is a lot of work to be done. So get off your couch and get to it. We need to resolve our current issues first to even think about becoming a Type 1 civilization. So then why does it matter to think about something that is so hypothetical? There is no simple answer besides our quest to achieve more and find answers. As humans, we are on a constant journey of discovering the truth and finding ways to make life better on Earth. And if we get the sun's energy, the structure of our lives will transform for the better. In the end, we can only help but wonder what if we became a Type 2 civilization? Will we be able to control the sun's energy as we like it? Or is it just some imaginary scenario? Perhaps the answer to these questions can only be determined by the future. But till then, we continue our journey of advancement and progress.